All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, this is uh, round two of this freaking video because earlier it kept freezing. So I'm going to give this uh, one more try. Hopefully it doesn't freeze. So I earlier in the mail today, I got three items, one from Zavi, two from eBay. Uh, they're all still books, as you can tell from other videos. Nine times out of ten, they're all still books. Uh, I'm a big still book collector. I'd say I probably have... So about 150 still books. I'd say roughly around there. Uh, I love still books. Now, if you don't keep them in like a little protective uh, case or a little case around it, they're going to get messed up. They mess up. They scratch pretty easily, especially the nice glossy ones. But um, I'll let you know exactly what I bought. First one I bought off of eBay. I'm pretty sure I think it came from. I think it came from the UK. Which is the Halo Nightfall Steelbook. Uh still looks pretty cool. Uh the movie itself pretty it's I'll say ab uh, slightly above average, nowhere near as good as Halo 4 Portal into Dawn. I absolutely love that movie. That movie just gives me the chills down my spine. It's awesome, 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 awesome. This one Eh, you know, for 14 bucks, hey, I'm not gonna complain. But you know, here goes the front. Now, right here, this is uh, Agent Lock. Now, if you're a big Halo fan like myself, you might want to watch this movie because it leads up to Halo 5, which is supposed to come out sometime this fall. I'm hoping like Septemberish. But because then one of the main protagonists in Halo 5 is Agent Locke, and this kind of like this is like his backstory, I'll let you know a little bit more about him. But you know, for 14 bucks, go pick it up. Can't really complain about 14 bucks. But I hate still books to have this blue tin up here. I hate that. If I would have known this, would have had it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. I hate that, it's annoying. I think it takes away from the still book. But other than that, I actually like the still book. It's pretty cool. You can see the front and the back. Now for some reason my camera does not want to zoom in correctly. But another thing I also hate is no inside artwork. Hate that. And I asked the person on eBay if I had it. She said yes. Pretty upset. <laughs> but you know, I can always make my own. I've done it before. It just to get these out, you can almost damage the still book. It's a pain in the ass. Would rather not, but it is what it is. Not like it about it. So there's that one. Okay, let me put it, put it back in this little case. Oops. Like, see what I mean? I put this here, like a little protective like case. That way it doesn't get all scratched up. Okay. Now my next one, this one is from Zavi. This is Too Fast, Too Furious, Steelbook. They still have some available. If you're wanting to get them, get them. Uh, these steelbooks are pretty cool. I had the Best Buy versions, but they all had no inside artwork. I hate that. The bugs, will ha the bugs the hell out of me. Um, but here goes the front and the back. Pretty cool. Nice glossy finish. I love glossy finishes. And I think cause they're doing this because Fast and Furious 7 comes out here in a couple weeks. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they have a still book for that. That'd be really cool. Now, this is the first movie. Sorry, wrong side. That I saw Eva Mendez in, and wow, man, she. I won't say she's a solid actress, but I'd say I'd say a little bit above average. She is so damn beautiful. Not as beautiful as Jennifer Lawrence. That is my big celebrity crush right now. But still, she is just she's sexy. And this movie, out of all of them, 
I'll say it's my second least favorite. My least favorite is Tokyo Drift. Um, because for the longest time, nobody knew what the hell they put that in there. Now, with Fast Fury 6, it kind of goes back to Fast and Furious, uh, the Tokyo Drift. But still, I didn't find it that great. But, can't wait for a seventh one. So I think that comes out on April 3rd. Okay, and this one is, let me put it back in this. Okay, so we can see what it's like. Alright, it is Looper. This is the Future Shop still book. You can see right down there it says Future Shop. Uh, I hate that the Future Shop does not deliver to the United States. Like, why can't you deliver to us? You're right above us. There's no sea, no water, no anything blocking. Don't understand why you won't deliver to, uh, to us. Hell, Zavi does it, and they're uh, located in the UK, and it's only two bucks for shipping. You know, you can't you can't blame two bucks for shipping? Like, holy shit! If I want to uh, ship something to uh, California, it's like ten bucks, and hell, uh, to uh, to Canada, it's almost like it's like fifteen twenty bucks. Like, what the hell is the problem? But anyways. Uh, this right here, nice little slip cover. Take the thread off. It's clear. And you got the back. As you can see, still looks pretty cool. I bought this on eBay for 30 bucks. And then when I go on a Future Shop's uh, website, it's like 26, 27, somewhere around there. So I'm not, I'm not losing too, too much. Still. The movie isn't the greatest movie in the world, but I'm a big Bruce Willis fan. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, other than that, there you go. It's the front and the back. As you can see, you see Bruce Willis right there. And the inside, and take the disc out. This comes with the Blu ray and a DVD, in case you're wondering. And right here, that's usually the spot where he would shoot, or he would uh, kill the uh, people coming back from, uh, from the future. For some reason, I cannot think of his name right now. Um, that's right, I forgot Emmy Blunt's in this movie. No, I'm a really big fan of hers. I loved her in um, Live Free or Die Hard. Not Live Free, Jesus Christ. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow. For some reason. I just I just watched the Die Hard series earlier, I don't know why I even thought of that. But why can't I think of his name? Yeah, George, Joseph Gordon Levitt. That's it. I cannot think of his name. I don't understand why I put it. But anyways, he is the main character. And Bruce Willis plays uh Jordan God damn. Jo Jordan Joseph Joseph Gordon Levitt's character while he's older, so he turns into Bruce Willis when he's older. Uh, I'm not trying to confuse you guys, but it's a pretty good movie. Uh, but it's one of those movies that you have to watch from start to finish. You just can't get up and leave for a little bit because you will be lost. But for this video, that is that is pretty much it. Tomorrow, I am going to Best Buy and buy the Unbroken uh, Steelbook. I might buy uh, Lord of the Rings Battle of the Five Armies Steelbook. I'm not really a fan of the series, but the Steelbook looks really cool. It's only 20 bucks. Uh, I didn't see Unbroken, but I heard absolutely phenomenal things about it, and I love true story uh, World War II movies. Uh, let's see, other than that, I should be getting a ton more stuff from Zabby. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, I think Tokyo Drift and a couple other stuff should be coming tomorrow. Should be. Uh, but, you know, Zabby, Zabby still looks here. 
to the States usually, well, for me, it usually takes about between like seven to ten days. Just because here, uh, the uh, mail moves really slow. But uh, other than that, I can't think of. I didn't buy anything else today. So I'm looking over my collection to make sure I didn't forget anything. But yeah, I've, for some reason I started collecting those damn Funko Pop figures. Uh, I've got like 15 now. I got Captain America, Simba, Star Lord, Rocket, Hulk, Iron Man, Loki, Thor, Ultron, and a couple others. I don't know why I'm buying them, but they look really cool. But um, other than that, until tomorrow, uh, talk to you guys later. Have a safe Wednesday. Oh, sorry, Wednesday, uh, Monday night.